Now on BBC One in London and the South East, late kickoff. Hi, I'm Will Buckley. My favourite Brighton moment was the first game of the season when I came on the substitute and scored the winning goal in the 98th minute. That was my favourite Brighton moment, and this is late kickoff. On the show tonight, Reading deal Big Sam a hammer blow in the battle for promotion. Crawley and Bradford come to blows at Valley Parade. The Crawley boss Steve Evans is with us in the studio tonight. We meet the one-time La Liga star looking to take Brighton to the Premier League. When he's on the ball, everything can happen, so uh, you know, when I use him as much as we can. And the competition's hotting up nicely in your place or mine. You're looking forward to like any specific players out of the West Ham team, or do you know any of them? Uh, Scott Parker. Welcome, one and all, to late kickoff. Mr. Bright is off this week. Hooray! Uh, so we've drafted in Mark Butcher. Lovely to have you in the studio tonight. And also, as we mentioned, the Crawley boss, Steve Evans, is here. Um, Steve, we've had a great response to having you on, on Twitter. Lots of people already asking about what you've said to the players since what we saw at Bradford last week. We'll get into a lot of it later in the show, but your initial response. Well, we've said it's not acceptable, Dan, in any shape or form. And it, and it won't be allowed and it won't happen again. But uh, in the meantime, our chief executive is, is going about his inquiries and speaking to people. And his actions will become clear next week. Okay, we'll move on to a somewhat cheerier promotion push. It's been 30 years since Brighton started the season in the top flight, but their Premier League dream is still on course, thanks in no small part to a man who last season was lining up against Lionel Messi in La Liga. We sent Mark Bright in a lovely yellow shirt to meet him. Now, as a former Crystal Palace player, Brighton and Hove Albion would not be the top of my priority list of clubs to come and visit. But I've heard they've got a special player down here, so I thought to come and see him myself. I like the way he plays. He's always enthusiastic. He's just absolute top quality. He obviously, nearly 40 caps for Spain. It just shows whenever he's on the pitch. As a Brighton player, he's like amazing. He's taken no time to adapt to the English game, even if he is still learning the lingo. Handy then when one of your teammates is also your translator. What's the biggest difference between La Liga and the Championship? What is the major difference between the Liga and the Championship? For me, the major difference is that in Spain, I think that there are better players. But here there are you must have lots of options when you left Valencia. Why did you come to Brighton? Porque había pasado 11 años en Valencia. Como que necesitaba salir, no? Necesitaba ir a un sitio. Mi primera opción yo quería ir a Inglaterra, jugar en Inglaterra, y Boyer me llamó y me dijo que había un proyecto importante. Y a pesar de que tenía algún dos o tres equipos en España y fuera de España también tenía otras opciones. He makes this team, you know, stronger when we attack, and he makes this team different because when he's on the ball, everything can happen. So uh, you know, we're not using as much as we can. Do you both think the team's good enough to get promotion? We are now four, five, fifth position. We are ready for for at least try to fight for for get the promotion. In theory, we are a team that has ascended to the second A, the Championship, and. Y hay equipos en teoría que, no, que eso, tienen mayor presupuesto, mejores, en teoría mejores jugadores, pero el equipo está dando la cara, está, eh, tiene muchas opciones de jugar el playoff, lo está haciendo bien y, y si quedamos entre los seis primeros, pues vamos a tener opciones de, de poder jugar el, el, el playoff y, y por qué no de, de ascender. Will getting promotion help keep you here? No lo sé. Yo ya, hasta ahora. Estoy bien aquí, la verdad que he encontrado compañeros fenomenal, muy contento con el trato que he tenido con los compañeros y con la verdad con la afición también muy bien. Y bueno, quedan todavía siete partidos y ya veremos a ya que final de temporada, ¿no? Todavía no sé lo que va a pasar. La situación es que, you know, sometimes you need to, to realize that the player as well you need to make a decision when you see the things that he's capable of doing. You should expect him to be playing at a higher level. So we're going to try to to see what happens, make sure that he's still fit, and play as many games as possible from now to the end of the season. 
you certainly made a big difference. But I wanted to ask you, Steve, from a manager's perspective, the job that Poyet has done is incredible. And the style of football they play at Brighton as well is commendable, isn't it? Yeah, he's a football purist. You know, I've, I've been fortunate. I've uh, been able to sit with Goss at, at matches and have a chat with him at reserve games and such like. And uh, he's got a way that he wants his, his team to play. And the players they sign, such as the young man we've just featured, he wants them to play in a style that uh, gets the ball down and play. And uh, incredible what he's done in there. And Mark Vicente had, a, had a, an impact at the weekend, maybe not the, one of his better games, but he, he had a chance in a, in a one-all draw with, with Middlesbrough. As we, as we see the goals here, I mean, it's incredible that, that Brighton have got someone of his quality playing for them, isn't it? Yeah, and I think that's what happens when you get a, a manager of the playing pedigree that Gus had. He can track these players, he speaks the, speaks the lingo, as you say. So, uh, Translator gets the equaliser, Mr Calderon. There is, and he, he's done really well. I remember when he first came over, I see him playing, he, I didn't think he would adjust to the English style of play in the lower leagues, but he has, and he, he's, he's done really well. So Brighton are doing well. Your team, Crawley, have got a bit of pro promotion push on as well. It's interesting that how sort of South Coast football has, has switched around in the last few years from being in the doldrums to being on the up. Yeah, it's fantastic. I think Brighton started it, didn't they? Dan, they, had, they were at uh, the with Dean, going nowhere, and, and steps the chairman, uh, Mr Bloom, and invests the money. Picks the right manager, obviously, in Gus, because you have to spend it right. And uh, I think they're heading to the Premier League. I think if it's not now, it'll be certainly in the next couple of seasons. And in West Sussex, Bruce Winfield started the Crawley project, if you like, with the Carter family clearing the debts. And that investment, we'd like to think, has, has been well spent.